Yo, what's up guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Gibraltar. Now Gibraltar is considered a defense character and his abilities reflect this. He can protect himself and his teammates with his abilities and he's one of the hardest characters to beat in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Okay guys, before I start with his abilities, let me give you a quick tip with his mobility. When I first started playing Gibraltar, it seemed to me that he ran slower than some of the other cast members. I was dead set on it and a lot of my gameplay suffered since I felt like I was too slow to do anything compared to some of the other legends I'm used to playing. After doing further research, I actually found out that all legends have the same exact speed and the only difference is that some legends have slower animations on their arms when running, which just makes it seem like they're slower. Now this really bothered me. The trick I did to get around this was to holster my gun when I wasn't fighting. This makes your character run faster and gets you to places quicker. Now you should be doing this with every character, but I believe the difference it makes with Gibraltar is incredible. Even though it's just cosmetic and you won't really notice anything since the speed of everyone is the same, you'll feel like you're going faster and it might actually help you play better. Okay guys, now with that out of the way, let's get into the actual video. Okay, Gibraltar's passive ability is the mounted shield on the front of his gun which protects a good portion of his body as well as some of his face. The shield comes in handy a lot and makes it very difficult to beat him on a one-on-one -on -one fight. The shield can break however so be wary of that and don't depend on it too much. While the shield is amazing and provides a lot of cover for you, one advanced tip I learned is to watch when you deploy it. When you're aiming the gun, it gives you the option to deactivate your shield. And I know some of you are thinking, why would I ever want to get rid of my big shield that's there to protect you, right? Well, that's just it. It's a big shield. The shield is enormous and can be easily spotted by enemies. There have been countless times that I catch on to a team that I didn't notice before because the Gibraltar has a big orange shield in the distance that I can notice immediately. Since there is nothing else in the environment that is similar to the color of his orange shield, it will never really blend in with anything, therefore causing you to stick out like a sore thumb. If you're aiming down a sniper scope for example and searching for enemies or movement, make sure to put your shield down to lower the chances of getting spotted. I also want to mention that due to this shield, Gibraltar can be a great sniper who is extremely hard to deal with. Another tip is to be aware of the small uptime it takes for your shield to activate. If you're in a gunfight with an enemy team, it would be smart to aim down sights and let this shield activate before you stick your head out of cover. You don't want to risk standing up and eating shots before your shield has the chance to block you. Okay, now we are moving on to Gibraltar's tactical ability, which is his dome shield. This ability is honestly a lifesaver and is going to become your best friend if you're a Gibraltar player. The shield blocks bullets and grenades. Note, however, that this means you can't shoot out or throw grenades out of your shield as they will be blocked. You can, however, quick peek in and out of the shield in order to take pop shots while minimizing the chances of getting hit. The first tip I'm going to give you is what I call free revives. When you're fighting against a team that's medium to long range, this shield is a godsend. If one of your teammates goes down, you can throw this shield on top of them and go for the revive without even thinking about it. As long as nobody is close range and can run into your shield, it's an easy revive that will also give them the cover to heal when they get back up. This can also be used to save teammates before they go down and provide them cover to heal as well. Keep that. Yeah. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. One of the best tactics to use with this shield is negating enemy ults. From my knowledge, the shield cannot break and it's actually on a timer. This means that if you're ever caught in an enemy ult, then you can use this shield to protect you and your team if you don't have enough time to get out. If you're getting hit by Bangalore's Rolling Thunder or another Gibraltar's Mortar, then this is a good last ditch attempt to keep your team alive. Got it down. Are they by you? Are they by you? Keep in mind, however, that this must be timed correctly, and you will most likely have the team waiting for you to get out of the dome after the alt is over to so prepare for a gunfight. Also, keep in mind that if you time this correctly, then the shield will not be up for long after the alt is over. So make sure that you use the uptime of the shield to heal, share ammo with your team, or anything else that is needed for the next team fight, since it's most likely coming. Now, I noticed something odd the other day. While reviving a teammate in the shield, I actually got shot by something through my shield. I tried to research this and look for what it could be, but nothing really comes up. If I had to guess, I'd say it would have to be the skull piercer attachments or maybe a legendary weapon, which can most likely shoot through a Gibraltar shield. I will continue to research this, and if I find out what it is, I'll put it in the comments under the video. I got you, bro. Okay, now we get into his ult. You should consider his ultimate a better version of Bangalore's. While it can have the same keep away properties as her ult, Gibraltar's can actually be a lot more offensive with his. 
If you notice that a team is grouped together, then throwing his ult on top of them while taking shots at them as they try to run is never a bad idea. Make sure you aim it correctly when throwing however to make sure you cover the area as close to the enemy team as possible. The zone denial trick I mentioned in Bangalore's guide also applies. Place his ult in between an enemy team and the circle and they will have an extremely hard time getting through it since Gibraltar's ult does an insane amount of damage. One advanced tactic I can give you is using the ult to buy you time to heal. If you and your team are low on health and the enemy team knows it, they're probably going to push you. If you want to avoid this, you could all gather into one building and throw your ult out the door. The mortars will then fall around your building denying the enemy team access as well as giving you and your teammates time to heal. Make sure to close the doors to avoid getting aided and also prepare for a fight since the enemy team will most likely know you're in there. Okay, now the last tip I'm going to give you is a last ditch attempt to stay alive. The tip is dropping the ult on yourself. And I bet you're wondering, why would I do that if I take damage? Well, if you're ever the last person on your team or you're surrounded and have to heal, you could drop the ult on top of yourself and use your shield as cover. Make sure the enemy team isn't too close or they could just run into your shield and kill you as you heal. Now this strat will go great with a race since you could create a teleporter inside the shield, go invisible, and drop it somewhere else where you can come out safe and have a better chance of winning the team fight. Now like I said, this strat is a you know give or take last ditch attempt to live, so it could work, it could not work, it just depends on the team you're facing, how organized they are, how organized you are, but you should always try it. You should never give up. There's matches that we've won where we just have a gun and a few bullets and we win somehow. And it actually happened yesterday on stream and it was super exciting if any of you saw that. Uh, but yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you all enjoyed the guide. I hope that these tips can actually make you a better Gibraltar player. And also, don't forget to like and hit that sub button since I'm going to be making guides on the rest of the characters. And I will also be making guides on the characters that are released after that. There was a reveal trailer, I believe, a few hours ago where they revealed uh, or leaked some new legends that are supposed to be coming out in a month or so. So I will be doing a guide on them when they come out. And yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. Make sure you don't miss any of my Apex content. And thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one, guys. Let me. Good shit, guy. Good shit, guy. Fucking dude. You are the Apex champions. Okay, I'll follow again. That's pretty bitchy ending. <laughs> ah, very flavor.